Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen for today's delicious dinner recipe. I'm going to show you guys how to make the best ever braised short ribs. These are so incredibly flavorful and delicious fall off the bone tender. You guys are going to love this recipe. A braised short ribs and a red wine and tomato sauce with some onions and garlic and fresh herbs. This recipe is super, super easy and so impressive. I love this dish over the winter months when I'm craving for some comfort food and the holiday season, but really you can enjoy them year round. Today I'm going to be serving these short ribs with my creamy butter mashed potatoes. I have a separate video recipe for that. I'll include it down in the video description box below along with the link for this this fall recipe. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this delicious dish. And I'm going to get things started with the short ribs. So today I'm preparing eight medium sized short ribs. And the first thing I'm going to do is get these seasoned extra well with some coarse sea salt and black pepper. Then I'll dredge them in flour and get them frying in my pan. I want them to be nicely browned all over. I'm going to start with my sea salt here. You want to really work the salt into the meat so it's really well seasoned. You want to make sure that you get all sides of each short rib really well seasoned. I also like to just mop up any salt that falls onto the plate. Make sure you're not wasting any of this nice quality salt. Add some ground black pepper. Next, I'm going to cover my short ribs in all-purpose flour. So I measured out about a cup and a half of all-purpose flour in my bowl here, and I'm just going to turn the short ribs over so it makes sure that you get them coated on all sides. I preheated a large frying pan over medium high heat. I'm also going to add in a little drizzle of some cooking oil. You want the pan to be extra, extra hot. And then I'm going to brown the short ribs in batches. So I'm gonna do four at a time, just so you don't overcrowd the pan. Drop them in. And these usually take about eight to 10 minutes to really nicely brown all over. So don't rush this step. You wanna make sure that your short ribs have some nice color on them. And I just turn these every couple of minutes until they are nicely browned all over. And make sure to turn the short ribs on their sides as well. You want to get the sides nicely browned too. And this batch of short ribs is all done. I'm going to take them out of the pan onto my tray. And then before I add my second batch, I'm actually going to clean this pan up because that flour does burn and then I'll fry up my second batch as well. And now that I have my short ribs all browned, I am ready to get started on that amazing red wine and tomato sauce with mushrooms. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat a braising pan over medium high heat, and I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of butter. I love cooking with butter. This is going to be so great. We're gonna fry our mushrooms and onion in there. You wanna make sure this butter is nicely melted before you add in the mushrooms. I'm going to add in 10 small sliced white mushrooms and one medium sized sweet onion. Toss the mushrooms and the onion together and I'm going to just saute this mixture for about six to seven minutes until the onion is translucent and the mushrooms are tender. And this onion and mushroom mixture is looking great. Next, I'm going to add in five minced garlic cloves. I'm just gonna let this cook for another minute till that garlic is nicely softened. I'm also going to season this mixture with about a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of ground black pepper. And I have one tablespoon of fresh rosemary that I've chopped and one tablespoon of fresh thyme. Mix that in. Next, I'm going to pour in half a cup of red wine. Next, I'm going to add in four ounces of tomato paste. Just drop that in. I'm going to grab a whisk and mix in that tomato paste. I'm going to allow this mixture to come up to a simmer because I want that wine to be really nicely reduced. Next, I'm going to add in two cups of beef broth. You want to bring the sauce up to simmer and then you could start placing the brown short ribs into the pan. Okay. 
and I like to place them into the braising pan with the bone side facing up. So you have all that meat and down and the sauce braising away. And now it's time to wait and just let these short ribs braise away. So you wanna make sure that sauce is first simmering and then reduce the heat down to low. I'm going to cover the pan with the lid. And I'm just going to let these short ribs braise away over very low heat for three to three and a half, even four hours until that meat is extra tender, really soft, falling off the bone. You also want the fat to be really nice and soft. Now, if you wanna make this dish in the oven or in the slow cooker, I'm going to include those instructions up on my website. I'm going to leave the link down in the video description box below. And once these are almost done cooking, when I have about half an hour left, I'm going to prepare my creamy butter mashed potatoes. I'll also leave that link down in the video description box below. And three hours later, we have the most beautiful braised short ribs. Those look so amazing. They've made, filled my house with the most incredible aroma. And because short ribs have quite a bit of fat on them, you'll notice once they're done cooking, there's going to be a layer of fat on the surface. What I like to do is just put the braised short ribs on the side and we're gonna scoop out all that fat. I'm just going to tilt this pan a little bit and then use a large spoon to skim the fat off the surface. I'm just gonna pour into a measuring cup. I'm going to allow this fat to cool and then I'll pour it into a Ziploc bag and throw it into the garbage. You do not wanna dump this grease down the drain. And I've removed about three quarters of a cup of fat off the surface. Now I'm just going to recoat these braised short ribs and we'll be ready to enjoy them. I wanna scoop one of these out so you guys can see what it looks like. How amazing does that look? This meat is just so soft, it's just about to fall off the bone. I could pull it right off, and that sauce, it smells so incredible. Can't wait to enjoy this. And then for serving these short ribs, I prepared a huge pot of my creamy butter mashed potatoes. I'm just going to place one on top of each bowl. If you have smaller short ribs, you can add two of them onto each plate. And I like to add lots of this sauce. It is so, so delicious. It's like the best gravy ever. This meat is so amazingly tender. It falls right off the bone. A little bit of the gravy, some mashed potatoes. This is gonna be such a delicious bite. Might not look the prettiest, but it tastes so good. And that is it guys for my easy and delicious braised beef short ribs recipe. These smell so incredibly delicious. This dish is actually one of my husband's favorite and always makes his evening when he gets to enjoy this. For the fall recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I've got a link there that'll take you over to my website so you could print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. And you'll also find those creamy butter mashed potatoes down there as well. Time to dig in and enjoy. And this looks so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. That bite right there was so heavenly. It was so incredibly and just ridiculously delicious. That meat is so tender, it literally melted in my mouth, coated in that incredible mushroom, red wine, and tomato sauce, combined with those creamy mashed potatoes. You cannot ask for a better braised short ribs recipe. It is so incredibly delicious. I love the sauce. You get little flavors of the herbs, the wine, the tomato, combined with the creamy mashed potatoes. So, so good. And the texture of the meat, incredible. If you guys are looking for the best ever braised beef short rib recipe, this is it. You do not have to look any further. It's so, so good. You guys are gonna love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this dish at home as much as I do, and I'll see you next time with a new recipe. I need to eat some more of this. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm